All right, guys, welcome back to Living Wellness, Mills Chiropractic Style. I'd like to go over something with you today um, that I think is very important for people to understand. I think that a lot of times that we don't necessarily make the best decisions for our health, not because we don't want to, but because we lack some information. Um, so I'm going to go over some information with you about subluxation and about spinal injuries, about what we do um, in chiropractic at Mills Chiropractic Center so you can make better choices for yourself and for your family. But I want to go through some research today. This is an article um, that was done by a medical doctor named Dr. Lee A. Hadley. Um, he was the lead radiologist at Syracuse Memorial Hospital. And what we learned from this study was literally how osteoarthritis forms in the spine or what we call subluxation degeneration and, and what the progression of that condition is. You know, partially one of the problems that people have is they think, you know, what's the difference if I take a medication to cover up my pain in my, my back or my spine or with my health compared to correcting the cause of the problem? And I think the issue there is people don't realize that subluxation in the spine is a progressive degenerative condition that if it is not stopped, will continually get worse throughout their life and become more and more debilitating as time goes on. So what I want to go through with you is what we call a, a subluxation degeneration chart. So these are pictures of the side of a person's neck. Um, just so you're familiar with it, this person is facing this direction. The picture is taken from the side like this. To look at this more closely, you can see this is the bottom of the person's jaw. This is the back of the head. And what we should see in the, in the cervical spine of the neck and in the lumbar spine is that there should be a forward curve in the neck. We should see nice square bones. We should see spaces between the bones. That's where the discs are at. We should see big openings in the back. Those are called intervertebral foramen. Those are literally where the nerves come out of your spine from your spinal cord and go to all the parts of your body. And these are the facet joints in the back that hold the spine together. Um, this is near normal, no subluxations. When the first injury occurs, we call that phase one of subluxation degeneration. You'll see here the spine heal with a backward kink. Now, it doesn't always heal with a backward kink, but the spine should have a forward lordotic curve. You can see here it doesn't. Uh, what I want you to realize is it's at the backward kink where we get the sprained or injured joint. When that happens, that pinches or irritates nerves. That causes muscle spasms, inflammation. The problem is, if this backward kink or this subluxation goes uncorrected, this person in phase one will go on to phase two of subluxation degeneration. You'll see here the same backward kink. But I want you to notice a few things. You're going to notice here that we start to see thinning of the disc or degenerative disc disease. You're going to see spurring on the bones or osteoarthritis start to form in that spine. Notice this, that the osteoarthritis and the degeneration is only occurring at the backward kink. And that was the point of Dr. Lee A. Hadley's research, and that, that's what he wanted to go over and explain to people, is that all these bones are the same age, right? I mean, this person was born, and all their born bones were born the same day. So technically, they should all progressively degenerate at the same rate if degeneration is a process of aging, which it's not. The literature is clear that osteoarthritis in your spine is, spine is not a process of aging. You can see here that these discs are fine, but where the subluxation is or the backward kink, the spine is deteriorating or is breaking down. It's closing off the nerve hole openings or where the nerves are coming out to the body. This person in phase two, left uncorrected, goes on to phase three of subluxation degeneration. The reason we use these pictures in our office is because this is the exact same person. These are the actual images from Dr. Hadley's research. So we've taken these images and we've put them onto this chart. What I want you to see here is that C4 and 5, look what's happened from phase 2 to phase 3. Now this lady was treated, treated with medications, anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxers, painkillers. You know, and they do what they do. They cover up inflammation or reduce inflammation, cover up pain, and relax muscle spasms. The problem is it didn't correct the structural problem in her spine. It didn't correct the subluxation. So the subluxation continued to get worse and deteriorate in this lady's case. And you can see here now in phase three that the disc is practically worn away. This bone's growing together here and here. It's literally destroying the spine. The spine is being broken down. Look at the, look at the holes for the nerves to come out. I mean, how would you like to be the organ or the part of the body controlled by this nerve trying to come out of here compared to over here in phase one? This person in phase three, left uncorrected, went on to phase four of subluxation degeneration. 
Same backward kink, you can see how it's completely destroyed the spine. At this point, it began to affect the lady's arm. She lost function in her arm, in her shoulder, into her face, all the nerve supply um, from this area of the body. You know, what, what's sad in this case is that this person in phase four used to be near normal. And this is the progression of a subluxation left uncorrected. If we could have intervened in this lady's case here and she would have received effective, corrective chiropractic care, this would have never been the case. I mean, think about the amount of days she spent in pain and suffering and disability due to this degeneration in her spine. What I want you to understand from this chart is I want you to feel empowered that you can take control over this situation. That this is, this is not what has to happen to you. That you can intervene and correct the function of your spine, receive regular chiropractic wellness care throughout your life, and not experience these phases of subluxation degeneration. The other thought I want you to think about is what about your children? What does this mean? This means that the earlier and the sooner that we correct subluxation in the spine, the less damage it's going to do. Why wouldn't we want to find people in near normal and keep them in near normal? Why even wait for them to get into phase one? Why not prevent that from happening? Or if someone gets into phase one, give them as much correction as we can. What I want you to realize is that years of research in chiropractic, we have found that you can take someone in phase two and stop them from going to phase two, phase three. We have tons and tons of x-rays that prove that. So I hope this information is beneficial. I hope you can use it to help you understand why it is that we practice a corrective model of chiropractic care. Hey, we, we want you to feel better. We want to give you relief. But we want you to understand that you don't have to suffer with the consequences of uncorrected subluxation. Hey, have a wonderful day. Um, stay fit. Get adjusted. We'll see you next time.